Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about place and people in landscape images. The idea to uh, discuss this came about really the other day when we, we headed out in thick fog to see if we could get above um, a cloud inversion, a temperature inversion, uh, to see if we could get above it into clear skies. And we did, we did get above the cloud, but unfortunately um, only the very tops of three or four hills poked out of the cloud. And even then the compositions, they, they lacked in impact. The, the, for, for my personal taste, um, I, I didn't think the images were, were that good. Um, so to try and save the day as it were, and to try and get some shots with a little bit more of more interest and a little bit of a human element into them, we decided to place a person in the landscape and, and to tell a little bit of the story of, of our day. But of course, um, I appreciate that's not to everybody's taste. And photography, of course, is a highly subjective um, topic. And, and particularly landscapes photographers, um, we, we tend to spend a great deal of time trying to keep people out of our images. We don't want them in the images. But that said, placing a person um, within the landscape uh, can sometimes create a, um, um, a sense of scale and they can help balance out a composition, for example. They can tell a story, of course, and, and they can even create a sense of drama in an image. Um, doing so can also provide a point of interest and a point of interest to help lead the viewer's eye further into the scene. A good example is, is here with this image, um, the hill walker here that stood on Blencathra. You look at the image and you're immediately drawn to the, the person and looking sort of towards into the view. And your gaze tends to follow the gaze of the actual hill walker in the image. Um, it, it's a useful technique, um, especially if you've got um, landscapes where you want to create a bit more of a link between the person uh, and the landscape so you want to perhaps put yourself in the position of, of just viewing the landscape but what in effect happens is you look at an image like this and you start wondering how that person felt you know you get a link you've got an immediate link to that person you think wow I would love to have stood there on the day um, you don't always get that with just a standard landscape you might look at it and think that's just a pretty picture so placing people into images like this can uh, make a big difference but you've got to be really careful because at some stage the image can become less of a landscape person sharing a landscape kind of image and instead just becomes a portrait because the person's too prominent in the image now i appreciate it's not to everybody's taste it's a love it or hate it thing um it, it very much depends on the viewer's perception anyway um i'll just go on to the the, the rest of the um the video um, it'll give you a little bit of idea of how our day went and um, it will also give you some idea of, of my thinking of, of why we decided to to do it and you'll just get a little bit of an idea of, of, of how things went and there's a few images towards the end um, that I'm sharing of, of, of other images from the day. Despite the fact that we've got an absolutely beautiful view across this valley above the temperature inversion it's, as far as a still shot goes, it's fairly bland. There's not much in the way of foreground interest. So what I'm going to try is add a little bit of foreground interest. Uh, and that foreground interest is going to be Moira's model. And we're just going to see how it works. Uh, you can't always tell whether an image is going to work or not. It looks okay. I've, I've tried setting the shot up and it does look okay. So just going to take the shot now and see how we do. Okay, just drink Moira. Another um, method we're going to try to add a little bit more foreground interest, I'm going to get Moira to walk into shot and uh, I'll get a few shots of her actually looking at the view. I'm just working handhelds for this. So another thing to do, I'm going to just walk away, I don't know whether you can, but walk down that way a little bit and I want you to walk back up again. Yeah, so just walk back towards me now, just sort of fairly slow speed, but... Okay, of the three shots, the first one I think is okay-ish. It has a bit of a, a stock shot look about it. The second though doesn't really work too well. The, the person is too dominant in the frame and it looks too posed and stiff. The third, 
I think the third is perhaps the more dynamic and perhaps works the best of, of the three. To wrap up then, earlier we did a, a similar exercise but hardly had any time to set the video camera up as the sun was, was just starting to rise. But as you can see, we had more success and the images worked a lot better and by placing a person in the scene, I think we balanced the composition out better. Um, he also told a little bit of a, a fun story as well. Um, and, and probably for, for my taste will probably work fairly well as, as, as stock photography shops. Certainly no award winners today, but as an exercise um, in pe placing people in the frame, it, it worked fine and, and it, it did what uh, did what we wanted to do. Right, so yet again, thank you for watching. Um, please do like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully um, in the next set of videos, they're going to have more of an on-location feel.